PCB tone arm. Preamp. Preamp breakout cable. Power breakout board. Preamp breakout board. Tone arm rest. Preamp power cord and two mounting screws. Tools you will need for installation. Wire cutters. Small flat, mini flat, needle nose pliers, roll of tape, number two Phillips, cordless jewel is optional, and of course, super glue is optional. Remove your eight base screws. You can use the drill if you want. Snip off the tone arm wires off of the PT audio board. Remove the nut, lever, and e-clip from the tone arm base. Then remove a thin piece of plastic that's covering the hole for the tone arm rest. Go ahead and remove your tone arm. Remove tone arm clip. Keep that for later. Now installing the tone arm rest, be sure to put the magnet toward the platter. Go ahead and press down with a small screwdriver until bottom is nice and flush. And don't push too hard to make it break through, but just till it's nice and flat on the back side. You can go ahead and use super glue or hot glue inside this port here to make sure it's sealed up nice and tight and holds strong. I recommend to pre-mount your cartridge before installing the tone arm. Remove your stylus to prevent damage because these things are getting hard to find. If you have an ortophone, put the cover on it to keep it nice and safe. Once your cartridge is installed, feed the wires through the tone arm hole and be sure not to pinch or bind the wires because it create a short or connectivity problem. Then go ahead and install your E-clip onto the tone arm. If you're using the factory switch, go ahead and put the lever and the nut back on that would activate the switch once the tone arm is returned home. In this case, we already have another switch. Now, installing the preamp, make sure you use the two mounting screws that it comes with the kit and also not to over tighten these screws because it could crack the acrylic that the board is mounted to. Now, make sure that these terminal screws are all the way loose and all the way open. Then go ahead and feed each wire from the tone arm in from left to right and go ahead and tighten till snug. Go ahead and give a light tug on the wire to see if it has a good, safe, secure connection. Then go ahead and do this with the other two wires. Now once this is all installed, go ahead and give it a light tug on all three wires to make sure they're firm and secure. Now it's time to install the power wire for the preamp. There are two small lead wires for the LED that are coming out of the tone arm. Go ahead and take the black, put the other black, and twist them together to get a nice consistent twist. Go ahead and now make sure your terminal blocks are all the way open go ahead and place a negative into the negative port, tighten down snugly, and then of course give a little light tug on it to make sure it's nice and secure. Now do this again with the red wire. Go ahead and twist the two stripped ends together. Now all twisted, go ahead and put the positive into the positive side of the terminal block. Tighten down nice and snug and then give it a little pull to make sure it's secure. Remove screw for the preamp breakout board. I'm going to take a piece of tape and cover the original contact points 
for solder points for the original tone. Now go ahead and take the preamp breakout board and screw it back into place where the screw was originally removed. Go ahead and unplug the three pin USB card wire right next to the six pin plug. Now go ahead and plug in the breakout board wire into that socket. Take your USB wire that you unplugged and plug it back into the breakout board. Now go ahead and plug in your three pin ribbon cable from the breakout board to the output of the preamp. Now it's time to do the power board. Unscrew the screw next to the USB card power wire. Now take the power board breakout Go ahead and place it right back in the same spot where you removed that screw. Plug in the breakout board into the plug where the USB card was originally plugged in. Then plug in the USB card to the very last socket that says DT01 and that will keep the polarity correct. Now go ahead, side by side, plug in your preamp wire into the breakout board. It doesn't make any difference, one of the three will work. They all have the same thing. Now go ahead and put your PT back together. Put your black ribbon cable in and make sure it's got good contact and away from any screw holes so you do not screw through the wire.